Hey guys, what's up? Mike here, Herd360, Georgia Swamp Bottom, and my log set. As you can see, my log is looking pretty rough. A little worse for the wear. That sucker is just about to cave in. Actually, I did check both sides, and it's pretty stiff on the bank, so right there in the middle. The animal's gonna have to hop a little bit, and I, I don't even know if I'm gonna get any as much activity here now. Um, this camera, the battery, actually the camera was right over there. I don't know if you can tell, but I, they was, it was right over there hanging, and the uh, battery went dead, been dead about a month. So, uh, finally made it down here. And I've been down here for quite a while because I've always had weak signal here. And I've always wanted to play around with some external antennas down here in this bottom. I'm going to show you here. That's two samples. These things are long. Yeah. All right. Two samples. Now I'm going to show you something. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it says, now it covers the frequency range of all the other antennas. And it says 12 dBi, okay? This one, a little bit, a little bit shorter. This one here covers the frequency range that we're looking to cover for uh, cellular. And it says 8 dBi, okay? Now, that one, way up there, it's about 16 foot, 15, 16 foot, probably about 15 foot above this camera. And it is Ridge Tech. And it says on the box, I think it says 4 dBi. And what I'm getting to is, man, this stuff comes out of China. And they put on it whatever they want. And I hooked up both of those two antennas and this antenna. And I swapped back and forth several times. And I did get a slight percentage increase. Uh, I don't remember. The, I'd have to calculate the numbers. Um, the Ridge Tech camera gives you a little, it gives you a little number uh, down in the corner of your signal. And then you divide that by 32 and that gives you your percentage. Because the graph goes or the numbers go from 0 to 32. Um, factory antenna sitting right here i was getting 17 which is like 53 percent signal it's not too bad um and then those down there uh the longest one actually gave me 19 on the number i didn't i didn't do the math and the shorter one gave me 20 but the ridge tech when i was doing it i was right down here on the bank i didn't have it all set up but the ridge tech gave me 22 to 23 couple times it changed so it was giving this and that dang antenna is not what eight ten inches long and um it's just a better design 4g antenna even though it says less dbi gain that's what it's rated at guys i guarantee you they cannot produce the uh the i can't think of the name of it it's a it's a chamber that they use ana anaerobic ana that's probably not the right word but um it's a chamber that they use to test antennas in, and I guarantee you they can't give you the uh, this graph or the results from that chamber to show that those are 12 dBi and 8 dBi. I, I just call BS. The Ridge Tech is rated at 4. It's more accurate. Now, you're going to see some of these little screw-on antennas that you put on your cameras. You find them on Amazon everywhere, and they're going to have all kind of crazy numbers. 8, 9, 6, who knows? Uh, what they're going to put on them i promise you guys those numbers are they're bogus they're false they're manipulated um they they they're not going to give you the gain that they claim um but this ridge tech antenna now when i got everything mounted i got that antenna that pole way up there at 16 15 16 foot above this camera this pole right here picked up it today at uh, Home Depot. It was $39 at Home Depot, but it's an aluminum extension pole, 16 foot extension pole. Uh, it collapses down to eight foot. So it was pretty nice and handy. And then using the Slate River 
T-post mount, and I got the pole. It was a little bit of work. I had to crush it a little bit, or it squeezed it going in, but it's inside that mount on this T-post I drove in the ground. And then there's a there's a, a battery in there. It's an amped outdoors, 20 amp hour lithium battery. And I'm getting 20, 25 on um, the, the number. And y'all can do the math, divide 25 by 32 and that'll give you your percentage i think it was 80 something percent 83 or or 80 something percent um but a huge increase and we've done some testing ridge tech has done some testing he's proven that going f uh at his at his uh, office he was using the camera on the inside and i think he was in the 50 something percentile on signal strength and he was measuring his amp draws while the camera was uploading pictures taking pictures and uploading them and he was measuring the amp draw uh, how much power the camera's consuming and and then um, also how long it took to do that process then he switched over to an external antenna one of these actually was mounted right outside his office and um, he he measured again the current how much power the camera was drawing during that process of of uh uploading the photos and then also how long it took and i'm not going to even give you a number i want to say that he told me it was a 25 percent increase uh in uh, or 25 percent um faster upload time and a lower power consumption during that process so not only did it take less power to upload those photos? It also uploaded them at a shorter time. All that stuff's gonna equate to give you a much better battery life. And if you do it, if you're getting a lot of photos and you add all that up, I've done it already and I posted a, a video, I think a video about it, and I showed you guys that you can add well over an hour of just power consumption in a given period of time and really reduce your battery life. So signal strength really is important to cellular trail cameras and how the battery is consumed. And uh, I think that I'm gonna, I've always got, uh, we're using big batteries, you know, so I get pretty decent battery life here because I don't get a ton of pictures. But now I've increased my signal a lot. And I haven't done the math to see what the percentage of increase is, but it's a lot, and so I'm, I'm really confident that this battery is going to last even longer. Uh, I'm also going to get more reliable sends because sometimes the signal would drop. Your cell signal will go up and down. Uh, you see it on your phone. Uh, so it'll go up and down, and sometimes when it's in a lower percentage, the camera, this camera or any cell camera, may not be able to upload photos. It may try two or three times using more power. And, and during that process... Uh, after the third time, if it can't upload or it can't connect, it can't get online, it can't log into the server, uh, it's just going to shut down and stop. So using tons of battery trying to do that. And I know I was missing some photos. Um, there were some times uh, when Anthony uh, over at Ridge Tech would go in and look for me and he would say, you know, yeah, your, your camera, it's trying, but it's not able to connect to the network. And I'm sure it was just, you know, low signal time periods. Um, this, I'm way out in the middle of the dang country, so a little town just outside of Midville. Uh, so there ain't a whole lot here, but got good signal now. It's a long video. Uh, appreciate you watching, and I uh, hope it was informative to some of y'all. And if you're curious about these kind of setups and these mounts and these cameras, and I don't have this battery box. This is one of my old, old battery boxes, but I got battery boxes, and I got lithium batteries, amped outdoors batteries. They're in there. Um, got all the parts. You can make your own. This is one of the old chew proof cables. Don't make those anymore either. Uh, uh, got a, a newer version. Still stainless steel, but it looks different and it's black. So, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mike Herd 360. I'm going to get out of this swamp and the mosquitoes are coming out. Y'all have a good day.